So, I am going to show you how to use Autodesk Format for some basic modeling stuff. We're going to start with opening a new sketch. Um, this is how you start a new building. Then we're going to go to the modeling tools. The modeling tools are all down here. So there's a couple ways you can model a building. The first and easiest one is probably just to select one of these solids, then place it somewhere on the canvas. Boom, you now have a solid. You can select the whole thing with one tap and move it around. You can also select one face and move that around. So let's make this a little bit bigger. Now we're going to select the back face. The way you move around is you point and hold to move. Two fingers pans and two fingers also pinch to zoom. Let's select this back face, move that out a little bit. Okay. Now I'm going to want to make my building a little bit taller, so we'll select the top, move it up that high. So now we have a big cube, but that's not really all that I want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the top, and I'm going to add a line, and this is going to split the roof in two. So I drag all the way across, and now I can select that line by double clicking and drag it up to make a pitched roof. Pretty straightforward. If I wanted it in a different place, oops, and I want to undo, so I can use the undo command. If I wanted it over here, I can drag it over there. If I want it over there, I can drag it over there. But as I said, I'm just going to add a pitched roof. I'm going to make that 10 feet tall. So now I have something that kind of looks like a house. But let's say I want to add a garage on. So one way I can do that is I can select this face, face it, and then draw a line across there to split it. I click off to, un to finish the command. Now if I double click here, I can drag that out and now we have a garage. That's good. There's a couple other things we can do. We can double click a line and move it around just like that. But let's say I wanted to, to go back. I can also, instead of moving with one finger, which drags it out, I can move it with two fingers, which holds that line, instead of just pulling out, extruding, we sort of pull everything along with it. So that's a different kind of command. I'm going to want to use this one. Oh, make it, eh, drag it back. Oh, we can also cut. That's important to know. Let's drag it out there to 10. Now, that's looking pretty good. There's other ways to build buildings too, though, and we're going to look at some of those really quick. One of those is simply just to add this rectangle. So you can add that on the ground plane or on any of the faces. But let's say I go to the rectangle select, I click here, oh, I drag to select the rectangle. So now it's 28 feet by 38 feet. And then when you're done, you just drag it up. So 15 feet. There we go. Now we have a box. <clears throat> Other things you can do is you can use the rectangle to draw, whoops, let's select the rectangle again, let's select off of here, select the rectangle, you can draw rectangles diagonally, that's easy. We can also use the line, so you can draw something like this. When you're done it'll all highlight in green, that means you're finished. Then you can draw that up. Additionally, as I said, you can select some of these lines, move them around, and you'll get funky looking buildings. You can pull this in, pull that out. Maybe instead what I want to do is I want to do this. Squeeze the building down. You can select the face and use that to cut. Pull that up, something like that. So just by using some of those, you can make some pretty funky shapes. We also have these other shapes that I didn't touch on yet. So you can add a dome. You can add a cylinder. And these are all pretty useful. If you want to scale them, let's say, so you can drag this up and there, and bring it back down. Let's say you want to make it bigger. You just pinch and hold when the thing is already selected to make it bigger or smaller. So now we have all these ways of building buildings. Now let's say you messed up, like I did here, and I want to remove some of them. Click and hold, X. Click and hold, X. Click and hold, X. And we're just going to close these all. Oops. And now we're back 
to just the original house. And that's the first way, the easiest way, for modeling in Autodesk format. When you're done, all you need to do is click Gallery, and now it will save, and if you have an Autodesk 360 account, it'll upload to the cloud. So now this is saved online forever. So, now we're going to do some advanced modeling in Autodesk format. So there's a couple commands that I didn't show before that are just a little bit more advanced. So let's try and do some of those. So for instance, we can draw a line. We already covered that. But if you drag this blue point, you can make arcs. So you can make curved shapes. And now we can continue on with the line. Maybe you want to do that. And then over here, something like this. Again, when it turns green, we're good to go. Let me draw up, and lo and behold, we have this nice curved shape. Now, let's say we want to add something on the roof, let's say. So, we want to add this up here, and shrink it down, and draw it out. We can rotate it by holding, using this round circle, and that can rotate it that way. Let's say we want it like that. That's good. Click off to finish the rotate. Click back on. We can drag it over here where we think it would look good. Now let's say we want to move all of this together. So if we drag this, that's not going to work. So what we want to do is we want to do the join command, the combine command. So we hold on one of them. We click combine. Now you'll notice that it all highlights together. So now when I drag it, it all drags together. That's good. But let's say I want to cut out a piece of that face. So as I showed before, we can draw simply on there, oh, excuse me, select the face, draw a rectangle, and now we can cut that out that way. But there are other ways to do that. We can, let's say we want to cut out sort of a, a cylindrical shape from there, half a cylindrical shape. We can select the cylinder, put it there, make it the size we want. Now we drag it in so that they're intersecting, right there. So how do I cut that? Well, simply, I hold on to the thing I want to cut from and use this cut command, and it will take away the thing that I was cutting with, and now I have a nice cylindrical entrance to my building. Sort of half cylinder. We can do a lot of things with that. Now let's say I want to... I haven't used this triangle command yet. So the triangle command is pretty straightforward, actually. It's just for marking out some things. So let's say you want to show how there will be flow around your building for some odd reason. If that's what you want, just like that, good to go. Click off to finish, and you can drag this around as you would everything else. So, we have done that. Let's say you need to reorient. You simply click there to fit to model. And those are actually most of the more advanced commands. So that is pretty straightforward.